you want to know what gaslighting tactics and phrases narcissists use on you to weaken you and destabilize you to confuse you so that they can gain control over you. I'm gonna tell you all about that in this video so that you can spot them and shut them down before they happen. Hey there, I'm Rebecca Zung and I'm an attorney, a lawyer, I've represented thousands of people all the way from drama, trauma, and chaos, all the way from where to begin through and to a win to become victorious against narcissists, how to break free. And I want to help you do the same thing for free. Who does that? So make sure that you subscribe to this channel, hit that notification bell because I upload brand new videos every single day because it is time for you to be able to take back your power against narcissists. Yes, it is time. And this is the video for you. So what is gaslighting? Gaslighting is when the narcissist is trying to destabilize you. It's, they're trying to make you doubt your own reality by manipulating you. The reason why narcissists use gaslighting is because it is a way to weaken you. It is a way to destabilize you, confuse you, make you actually question your own mind, question your own sanity. And that's a way to get control over you. And especially when you're going to communicate with them, deal with them, try to manage them, be in a relationship with them, whether it's a business relationship, a personal relationship family relationship, whatever it is, it's a way to actually gain control over you. And by the way, they didn't choose you because you had so little value. They chose you because you had so much value. Reclaim your power, reclaim your control, disarm that narcissist, okay? Because they constantly are coming at you, right? You feel like you're on the defensive all the time. That's what they want you to feel like. They want you to feel like you are a turtle on your, on your back. They love gaining control over somebody who has a lot of value. It makes them feel even more powerful. Think about it. I'm sorry. You start with, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you don't understand. I'm sorry that we can't agree. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You know, you just say, I'm sorry, because it's a disarming phrase. Now be careful, because remember that anything you put your hand to is a trial exhibit and you don't want to be apologizing for things and then make it look like you're actually saying something that you did something wrong. What you're doing is you're disarming, you're disarming. Remember, you're shutting down this narcissist, you're disarming the narcissist, you're reclaiming your control. Sometimes you, you can just say, I'm sorry that we don't seem to be on the same page. It seems that there is a misunderstanding here. I'm sorry that it seems that you're upset and perhaps we need to continue this conversation another day. You can even say, I'm sorry. It seems that I maybe didn't explain this to you properly and we can't continue this now. Whatever it is that you need to say, it's just, it's a disarming phrase. It's something that they're not going to say unless it's a manipulation because everything they do is a manipulation. I never said that. I never said that. Of course, they're going to just flat out deny that they even said something, right? even though you know that they did. And it, again, it's a way to like, oh, wait a minute, what did they just say? And you're like, no, I know you said that. No, they'll just flat out say, I never said that. We can resume this conversation when you're ready to respect me. Do not sit and have a conversation with anybody when they're being disrespectful to you. If they're screaming at you, if they're yelling at you, if they're being derogatory toward you, if they are saying things that are, you know, not productive, you don't have to sit there and have a conversation 
you're not getting there anywhere with it anyway. So you can just say, we can resume this conversation when you're ready to be respectful. And then excuse yourself. You know, here's the one thing that I say all the time. There are certain things that are negotiable and there are certain things that are not. Terms of contracts are negotiable. Your self-worth, not. Your self-respect, not. Ever. So you can always resume conversations when the person is ready to be respectful. And you don't have to yell and you don't have to scream and you don't even have to say it with emotion. You don't have to say, we can resume this when you're ready to be respectful. You don't have to be like that, okay? You don't have to respond in kind. You just say, we can resume this conversation when you can be respectful. Thank you. And then nicely get up and walk away, okay? And the, if they say, don't walk away from me, that's not respectful, blah, 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 what, you know, whatever it is, just say, oh, that's not respectful, thank you. And that's it. If you agree, put respect me in the comments right now. I want you to put that in the comments right now, respect me, because I want you to remember that that's one of the most important things in any relationship is to demand respect of yourself. And that's an okay thing. That's not only an okay thing. That's, this should be a non, non-starter. Okay. It should be a non-starter. You're too sensitive. Stop being so insecure. You know, something like that. They'll make you question your own feeling. Don't be so dramatic. It doesn't mean anything. So if they've been confronted with, you know, maybe something that they might have said that seems like they may be cheating or something that they're around that they've been flirtatious or something like that, that is something that they will make it again, making you feel like you should be questioning how you feel or what you're seeing. And by the way, another video that you may want to check out that's kind of similar that I did is called Narcissist Favorite Words. And you can definitely check that out as well. And here's something I just want you to write in the comments below just as your own mantra, just to remember, which is, I deserve better. I deserve better. You know, you know you do. So I want you to write that in the comments below right now. I agree. And again, this is something you got to be very careful with what you're doing. Because remember, everything is a potential trial exhibit. So you can say things like, I agree with that that's what you believe. I agree that that's what you think. I agree that we can, we disagree. I agree that that's your perspective. You know, in other words, you're not agreeing with anything. You're just agreeing that that's what they think, you know, but just hearing the words, I agree, is just sort of like, a salve for people. It's sort of like music to their ears. So when you say, I agree, it's sort of like, okay, they hear, I agree. Oh, it was just a joke. Or they add ha to the end of a sentence. They'll say something really painful and they'll add ha to the end of the sentence. Or they'll say, oh, it was just a joke. Or can't you take a joke? Something like that. It sounds like you don't really know what you want right now, or you don't really know what you need. Again, it's questioning how you feel. All right. And again, I'm going to just say to you, you know what you need, you know what you feel, you know what you heard. So each time you hear something like this, I want you to stop. I want you to stop and think about it because what they're doing is they're trying to condition you. And I want you to stop the conditioning. I want you to stop and and know what you know, know what you heard, know what you feel, and understand that all of those things that you're feeling are totally valid, totally credible. Take it or leave it. That's another similar type of thing that's just a very narcissistic type of a thing that's very similar to the kind of thing they say. And again, I would just avoid, you're just imagining things, something like, oh, why don't you just sleep on it? Or 
think about it for a few days, or let's talk about it when you have a clear head, something like that. You're just imagining things. This is a common phrase that is gaslighting. If you are dealing with a narcissist and it's eating you alive inside and you're feeling like you need extra support, make sure you join my free private Facebook group, Narcissist Negotiators with Rebecca Song. And if you want phrases for disarming narcissists, grab them. I have a whole list of phrases that you can use at disarmthenarc.com, disarmthenarc.com, phrases for disarming narcissists. Make sure you get those. And also, if you need additional support and you need access to therapy, I have a sponsor on this channel, which is BetterHelp, and you can get that access to help at betterhelp.com forward slash Rebecca Sung. It is a sponsor for us, which means we receive commissions on that. If you use it, it does not cost you any extra. We just want you to have access to help and support that you can trust. Remember that gaslighting is a manipulation tool. That's what it is. It's meant for that. And the purpose of videos like this is to help you get access to information, to knowledge, to know like, hey, Bet you didn't know that this phrase was gaslighting, right? And now you know. There's so many other tools out there for you. And that's, you know, what my SLAY program is all about, which is, you know, SLAY your negotiation with a narcissist, which has helped many thousands of people get access to a negotiation tool that helps you win free content like this here on YouTube that I have this in, in my podcast, in my book. Just remember that your feelings are valid. Your experiences are real. Be cautious of phrases and responses that belittle you, invalidate you, and invalidate those around you and ensure that your words empower you rather than de diminish, right? Don't allow anybody to diminish you, diminish your life. Whatever. Whatever. This is literally the one word that narcissists absolutely cannot stand. They cannot stand this word. And I actually have a whole video on this topic. You want to go watch this video next. It's called the number one word. Narcissists absolutely cannot stand. That's the next video that you're going to want to go watch after this. I'm going to make sure we drop a link to that below. So definitely go watch this video. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, make sure you do that now. Subscribe and hit that notification bell. And if you also need additional support, make sure that you join my free private Facebook group, Narcissist Negotiators. And if you haven't gotten my free worksheet, you should definitely do that now. It's a free ebook. It will help you negotiate any deal that you have. I've had people win their entire deals just on that. And you can get that at crushmydeal.com. Make sure you grab that. So thank you for stopping by. Remember that today is a great day to start negotiating your best life. I'm Rebecca Zong, and I'm so glad that you're here, and I'm so glad that you stopped by, so much so, and I'm so glad that, that you are here and part of our community, because dealing with narcissists is literally the hardest thing that you will ever have to do, for sure. But once you break through, and once you break free, it is the best. It is the best, because you know that you are stronger, and you are better than you have ever been ever in your life. So I'll see you in that next video. I'm so glad that you're here and namaste.